Hello MBA aspirants. What a moment it is when you receive a call or a mail from your dream business school that they are happy to offer you a seat in the MBA class. Enjoy the moment and then get into action. After having published podcasts in season 2 and season 3, I am thrilled to add yet another podcast to season 1. Welcome to season 1, podcast 32 of MBA Dr. CTC that is Concept to Completion. I am Dr. Vinita Singh and while I help MBA's parents with essays, recommendations and interviews with almost 100% success rate for the top business schools, today's podcast titled MBA Applications, Got an Admit? What to do next? Six tips will reveal the necessary actions that an applicant should take proactively. The first tip is to express your happiness and your gratitude by sending a thank you note to everyone who helped you in your journey to get an MBA admit. After thanking the business school members, start with your family and then include friends, managers, colleagues, mentors and the admissions consultant who navigated the path. The second tip is to secure your seat and show your commitment by paying the deposit fee and submitting the required documents. Decline any other offers you may have received from other schools to free up their seats for other applicants. You will start getting notifications about financial aid, student orientation programs, campus visit programs, course scheduling, student life, school activities, and a lot more. Be careful about the pre-term courses or online classes that the school wants you to complete and be extra cautious of deadlines for all the required work. The third tip is to subscribe to important financial and business publications, journals and blogs that will keep you abreast of news and market trends in the world of business and finance. Reading books or articles, watching videos or taking online and offline skill building courses on math, statistics, accounting, finance, economics, etc. before you actually start your MBA program is a good and pragmatic step. You can also review the curriculum and syllabus of your MBA program and familiarize yourself with the topics and assignments that you will eventually handle. The fourth step is to network with like-minded people from your class with current students and alumni both online and offline before your course begins as you will create a support system for getting maximum sustenance during the course. Do attend networking events organized by your business school. Connect via email, social media or online forums and ask them about their insights, tips and advice on various aspects of the MBA program such as academics, career, clubs, events, etc. You can also learn from their experiences and challenges and get a realistic picture of what to expect from your MBA journey. The fifth tip is prepare for visa and travel. If you are an international student, check the visa requirements and process for your destination country and gather the necessary documents and evidence. Book your flight tickets and accommodation well in advance to avoid last minute hassles and expenses. You should also research the culture, climate and customs of your destination country and prepare accordingly. Relocating for the course can be interesting if you explore accommodation options including campus housing where the business school helps you, renting an apartment close to your school or sharing an apartment with somebody or any other option. Doing your research and tying up the correct cords for this step can be really helpful. Finally, the sixth tip is that apply for scholarships, grants, loans or other sources of financial aid as soon as possible. Financial planning actually should start the moment you think of doing MBA. For any kind of loan or financial aid program, compare the costs and benefits of different financial aid packages. Carefully understand the payment plan, whether it is lower interest private loan or more flexible public loan or a loan with fixed as well as variable interest rates. Also, explore scholarships, assistantships, fellowships, grants and stipends. Do a thorough research on various options available from the school, the government or other organizations and follow their application procedures and deadlines. Make your financial decision carefully as there will be expenses related to boarding and lodging, travel, networking and personal of course. Budget for all of these so that you can enjoy the MBA experience to the fullest. In today's podcast, I spoke about the necessary steps to take if an applicant gets an admit for doing MBA. 
I have shared some valuable links of the rankings for 2023 and links of some of my related podcasts in the description box. Do not forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you think I missed out any important point. May all your aspirations come true and you get an admin from your dream business school. Watch out for my next podcast. Take care and stay safe.